Now the package seemed to have summed it up nicely, so uh, what's going on? End of the year build is coming along so magnificently. I will murder you, sir! Murder you. How are you even still alive? It's um, November, you blood-sucking little cretin. The build is going well. <clears throat> Nobody has successfully guessed what it is yet, so there's a huge clue. You can look at all the guesses and know that they're wrong. <laughs> uh, the blaster is functional, it has a lot of cosmetic stuff still needs to be done. Uh, the wiring is still in the prototype stage, so I need to redo that. Uh, other bits need working on, but I'm hoping to have it done so that we can get some filming done this weekend at one of the forts. I'm, watch I'm watching you too, you will go the way of your friend, you filthy little thing. Alright. Where was I? Oh yes. That was here. I should be wearing a turkey hat, because it would be very fitting, but I can't find my turkey hat! Either of them, I have two turkey hats, and they're both AWOL. I may have left them at Luchathor's last Thanksgiving. Or there, I think there's a whole box of hats missing, because I can't find my crab hat either! Dubious. I'm wearing the helmet, because this will be going out on Black Friday, and one should wear a helmet on Black Friday, because... Uh, especially since I will be on a goodwill run with some crew, so... We will be taking all the necessary precautions, of course. Um, Masks and hand sanitizer and not licking hobos in the Goodwill outlet, that sort of thing. Um, but let's, let's answer some questions. There's some good ones. The questions have been getting better. I've been liking that. <coughs> Cameron A. Cashews or peanuts? Well, ideally almonds. Almonds are my favorite nut. But uh, between cashews and peanuts, peanuts, but sh in the shell. I like shelling my peanuts and um, making a mess. That's what I like doing. Void videos. Captain! We know that you have experience in armed combat. Have you any experience in unarmed combat? I do, yes. Um, uh, we, the same place that I learned a lot of the medieval techniques also taught um, wrestling styles from that era. Modern, a lot of um, modern, actually even like what's taught to the police and, and the military uh, are based on martial arts that, that date back to the medieval era uh, for how to fight. Uh, in armor, how to fight out of armor, how to, how an unarmored opponent can fight an armored opponent. There is a whole martial art around that because it is complicated stuff. Uh, I got to learn a lot of that. Fun stuff. Alex Price has three questions. One, ever thought about doing a Krampus run? No, but I'd love to. Two, if you could build any Star Wars blaster, which one? Uh, the E-Web. The heavy gun emplacement blaster. I would love to build one of those someday. And three, thoughts on the wheel lock? Well, once upon a time, it was the height of military technology. Uh, the whole wind up the wheel and then it would spin and cause spark when it ground against the, the flint. Um, well, had, had a number of advantages, and uh, I've never actually fired one, but I have seen one fired. The lieutenant at Bristol had one and had, gave him nothing but... I will murder... murder you. It gave him nothing but trouble. Uh, and now you can... Train? You can buy the basic mechanism that's in it in a toy... In uh, at the dollar store, it's the little guns where when you pulled the trigger, it made a, a wheel spin and it would create lots of sparks. And you always tried to light light fires with them, and it never worked. Um, that that is the same technology that was in a wheel lock, uh, now relegated to a child's plaything, which is true of an awful lot of military technology, actually. Stephen Gunter, you often talk about being a theater kid. I'm curious. What, uh, at what your experience, if any, is with ballet. I have no experience with ballet. I've been to a couple ballets. I went to a ballet, com uh, a comedic ballet opera in Milan that was absolutely hilarious. I have no idea what they were saying and it didn't matter because performance art is amazing that way. Uh, I did get to go to a ballet class in college, but as a fencer because modern ballet was um, drawn from f the French style of fencing. A lot of the footwork and the handwork from the early ballet was drawn from that, and of course it has expanded exponentially f since then, but a lot of the early stuff um, came from fencing. So they had us come in, and I will murder you! Uh, they had us come in, <laughs> I don't know why there's so many bugs in November, you should all be dead by now, hibernating or something rolling around in my shop. Um, so they had a, a fence, and then, you know, the, the, the dancers were able to spot, oh yeah, that's similar to this position, and, and when they're on guard, it, it's similar to this position, and they're, 
uh, this and that, and, and, and it, was, it was a fascinating uh, lesson to be a part of. Moonchild Hobie. What did you think about Kevin 183's channel? Never heard of it. Uh, and do you think you make a patch wall bigger? I'm gonna have to, I'm running out of room. Either I will expand it to somewhere else entirely, or I'll actually just go to either side of the pillar, which would triple the space. But you wouldn't be able to see it from the camera. You'd have, you don't be able to see it if you were in here, so... Maybe I'd put the, the less interesting ones on the side. <laughs> um, Captain Hellas Films. Are you going to End War 2021? If there is an End War 2021, I will be there, yes. No Reason asks, Is there any special or significant... Anything special and significant about the Black Nightfinder on your wall? Yes, that was a mod exchange with a fellow in Australia. I sent him a uh, double down, and he sent me that. Uh, it had basic spring upgrade, AR removal, brass breach, uh, and then he'd done a lot of cosmetic work. He painted it. He'd also done some scoring in it using like a heat gun, or, or not a heat gun, a, a wood burning kit or a, a soldering iron. Uh, and then I added the um, fishing reel and a uh, heart, uh, grappling hook. Dart. I have a video on it on my channel. It's silly stuff. Bradley Tulloch, have you thought of making an auxiliary standard issue SMG or CQB rifle? You just take the barrel off of your standard issue strifle and it's a SMG at that point. Um, any advice on modding a green raven? Oh, um, ravens can take any of the modifications that a strife can. Some of the kits are different. There are full auto kits for them and there's a different cage for them, but uh, as far as wheels and, and motors and all of that, it's, it's pretty much the same. It gets good stuff. Baga 360. So I've had two rough cuts break on me, and I'm wondering if rough cuts are just not very good, or if it's just a coincidence. Probably just a coincidence. They're getting older at this point. Uh, and you mentioned that the, your break wasn't... Usually it's the gears that break, or the gear mounting that breaks, because someone tries to prime it while it's already primed. You said that yours was the... The plunger rod, which I've never seen that happen before, so I don't, I, bad luck, mechanical failures, factory flaws, who knows. Alexander McPherson has two questions. First, if you were to ever build a real Mont de la Mer, what would be the figurehead? Grim Reaper. Uh, two, for uh, large-scale HVZ events, do you prefer a continuous HVZ arc afterworlds or a strictly episodic end war? And if you ever get a Captain Xavier, a Captain X Root Beer Fest HVZ, would you set up a story? Um, it really kind of depends. I like if, like, a one-day event, it really, it's better to just make it a, a one-day event, uh, as opposed to trying to have the story from end year go from year to year to year. That would get strung out and strained, and, and people who weren't there for one wouldn't understand the references, and that wouldn't be... Um, quite as good, especially, like I said, once a one-day event. Something like Afterworlds, where it's a, a three-day event four times a year, three or four times a year, instead of a one-day event once a year, you can have a more continuous story arc. And because of the nature of LARPs like that, uh, it's not just an HVZ. Uh, the HVZ portion of Afterworlds is, is a minor, minor part of it. Uh, you don't get turned into a zombie when you get killed by a zombie, you just end up dead, and, and it, it's a whole different system. Uh, I have played in the week-long games, the week-and-a-half-long games, like U of I and WSU, that um, would have a more complex story arc. Though even then, they generally didn't carry over from one game to the next. Uh, it was generally just, you know, for the, for the week-and-a-half-long, it was one long story, and it was all building up to a big finale that all made sense. Um, so both of them work. And, yeah, if I were to ever host my own large-scale HVZ, which I could potentially be talked into trying to do someday. Um, yeah, there would definitely be a storyline, just because I like storylines. They make it more fun. Pretty good. Get away. <laughs> ah, direct hit! Right. Four-piece. If you could make a Hollywood movie about the crew and the spoils during medieval recreation, what famous people would you would play you and the rest of the main crew during that time, and what popular director would you want to work with? Well, for director, it would have to either be um, Peter Jackson or um, Joss Whedon. Uh, and given the fact that pretty much all of the crew are theater folk, we'd like to play ourselves. I'd love to get to play Captain Xavier in a big movie. Uh, if not me, then of course Gerard Butler, because who else could possibly play Captain Xavier? 
I got told I looked like him when 300 came out all the time. Which I'm okay with. I definitely don't have his physique. But I had the beard. It hadn't gone white yet, so. Um, now. Yeah. Samson1 of uh, 7180. What do you think of the Darksaber toy that came out recently at Walmart? I didn't even know it was a thing. Is it foam? Is the blade foam? If the, if the blade is foam, I must have one. If it's not, then meh. Adam Gao, the single track woodsman. What is your favorite type of cake? Cheesecake. Love cheesecake. Love me some cheesecake. I made the mistake of having New York cheesecake in New York at one of those big fancy dessert places, and I have not had cheesecake as good since. And it's ruined it for me. Um, the second best cheesecake I've had was made by my younger sister for her wedding. Uh, she made her own cheesecake for the wedding, and it was absolutely magnificent. So was the wedding. I officiated. I've got all for clamped right at the end. Here's the second question. What train? Lies! Lies! Lies, sir! Mr. Gao, you have led me astray. Uh, what is the best hat that you have got? Oh, I have got too many wonderful hats. Um, I really like the Jafar hat. I actually also really I finally got a mitre. I'm very pleased that somebody finally sent me a mitre. Uh, the crab hat is pretty cool. The Sultan hat. I, I've got too many cool hats to pick one. I just... Mm, no. Uh, infinite possibilities. What is Elite Dangerous? It's a space sim flight game. Computer game. Video game. Yes. And is there anywhere in the UK where big Nerf Wars happen near Nottingham? <laughs> I don't even know where Nottingham is. I've never been to England. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I recommend either joining the Auxiliary Discord or the Auxiliary Facebook and asking there. If there are, if there is anyone, um, they'll let you know. There, I know there is a fair amount of nerf in England. Um, I think Brit nerf is a thing. Look up Brit nerf. They might be a thing. I don't know. Adam Myers. What sort of blaster and what would it have to accomplish to earn the name Odin? I don't know that I would ever have the audacity to name a blaster after the Allfather. I, it would need to be like a howitzer or something. Um, or, uh, yeah, no, no, I, mm -mm, nope. Michael Coolidge. What are some non-nerf related YouTube channels that you watch or recommend? I watch an inordinate amount of Warhammer 40k channels. Uh, so Oculus Imperialis, uh, Baldermort, um, A Border Prince, Luton. I used to watch Arch Warhammer, but I don't anymore. Uh, I used to watch One Mind Syndicate, but I don't anymore. Uh, the Great War is an absolutely magnificent YouTube channel. I cannot recommend that one enough. They're now doing World War II. Um, I need, I'm so far behind. World War I was really interesting to me because I didn't know much about it. Uh, I also highly recommend Overly Sarcastic Productions, Feature History, Extra History. Um, I watch a lot of history channels. It's mostly what I, I watch and lore videos. Um, Nerd Cookies. I think Nerd Cookies is a channel that I watch that is currently doing um, Dune stuff. And they were they were all excited about the Dune movie that's, that was going to come out this year and then it got pushed back and so... Um, yeah, those are the ones that I, I highly recommend. Zach Leek. What or have you done a video on your FDL? No. The Jupiter grip on the front intrigues me. It should. Uh, what is your favorite programming language? Prologue. I really enjoyed Prologue. My, I have the most experience in C++, which is handy because I'm now starting to learn to program Arduinos and they use C++. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed Prologue. It was an interesting language to program in. Um, for more details on the FDL, yes, I know there's a lot of in, uh, intrigue surrounding my FDL, uh, but there are unfortunately reasons that I cannot do a video on it, um, and I, I won't tell you what they are because that would be showing off well, all the stuff. So, unfortunately, someday when the events open up again and I go to a big event, that will be my primary, so you will get to see it in action, but you're just going to have to wait. Galactic Turtle. I love it. Would you ever consider a Meet the Mods Auxiliary NCOs video? <laughs> you did like with the crew. We have been talking about doing that for months, and we just never seem to get around to it. Because they're all busy, and I'm busy, and stuff. Um, 
But someday, yes, that is something we definitely want to do. James H. 45. You are made president. Who do you choose to be your vice president and your secretary of defense? Cannot imagine a scenario where that took place, but um, quite obviously my vice president would be Sergeant Deplorable and my secretary of defense would be Sergeant Major Kyle. Uh, the moment that they were put in office, I would resign and then flee the country. Or otherwise, they're going to hunt me down and murder me. Archton 8. A weird spelling. Have you ever thought about doing an expose on your personal blasters that have earned their names? How you name... Uh, how they earned their names? What are the origin of your blaster names? What inspired you to build the blaster? Do you build your blasters with an intent of hopefully the blaster earning a name you predetermined? Or do they... For them, or do you name them after the characteristics of how they performed has been revealed to you uh, after using them in glorious battle? Uh, the short answer, no. The long answer, um, all the blasters that have names, I've done videos on at one point or another, with the exception of Friga, which is another one that I can't do a video on for reasons that I'm not going to go into. Um, but it, it, it's a little bit of both. In some cases, when I build the blaster, I have an idea of what I think the name is going to be because of the nature of the build in leans towards another. Others, I, it never even occurred to me to name them until they just suddenly had definitely earned a name. That was how Iyer, uh, Iyer's name was very much a, this blaster needs a name, this blaster has earned it. Whereas Tyr, I had an idea of where I was going with that when I built him. Um... Uller was very definitely a, uh, which is my caliber, and for those who don't know, that was definitely an on the field, that was an amazing shot, this blaster needs a name. Uh, and I looked at the circumstances of the situation, it was a really long shot, I had been, I had a shield that I had just propped against a tree to take cover behind, uh, there were a lot of things that led to that. Um, my auto strifes are one where they have proven themselves time and time again, uh, and they'd finally earned a name, but I'm waiting until I get them fully upgraded. Um, yeah, it, it it's a little of a little of this, a little of that. Um, it, it it varies. It's one of those things I don't I don't want to be too dogmatic, and it has to be exactly like this, and I will always do it this way because that that takes the the meaning out of it. The the names have meanings for reasons, and to force reasons on them, or to un to refuse to allow the meanings to lead to the name, would take all of the significance out of it, to me, so, yeah. Alright, if you would like a question answered on this channel, ha ha, ha ha, it. Um, if you would like your question answered, you can either write your question on a crisp one dollar bill and mail it to my P.O. Box, Link in the description. Or you can just ask your question in the comments of this video, because that's where I pull them from. I generally do first come, first served, and the first 20 questions. Uh, if you do the whole writing it on a dollar and mailing it to me, then you skip that whole list and I open your letter on camera. And as long as it's not too inane a question, I will answer it. Or too personal, well, in some cases. So, yeah. Alright. There's not a whole lot of loot this time, but I suspect there's some good stuff. So, let's get to the loot. <laughs> Right, we have two package and one small rattly suspicious package. We will start with the rattly suspicious one. There's a note! Ha! Huh. Put alien guy here. Hi, my name is... Meowp. Fan from planet Zorp. Oh, okay. I need to put 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 the what the crunk? Aha! I dig it. <laughs> uh, fan for planet Zorb. Oh. No idea. Wait, wait. Came to ask... Wait. Came to Earth to ask, can I take a K-26? <laughs> I'm going to have to find out that. I like that. And 
A crocodile. What? I've been sent a crocodile. Meh. Aha! <laughs> okay! Alright! Alright, I see what's going on here. Okay, that's that's gonna be fun. That, oh, that's clever. I like that. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. All of the yes. Alright, you will end up in K26, and that will end up elsewhere for things, for reasons. That is hilarious. I love it. <laughs> Alright, we have the Picard. Friday. Q&A. Fan mail, Q&A, lovely. I don't even know what the order is. We have a Picard from Brian Rehard. A very light Picard. Open this in the special Titan Ball edition. Oh. It's so, it's so, it's so oh good. Good lord. Good. Open this one off camera, boring stuff. All right. Captain Xavier, greetings. Like you, I came to Nerf a little later in life, but have been modding and tinkering for over five near years now. The plague has given me time to work on my Titan missile design. I have included some of my latest for your amusement. I heard you mention in one of your range videos that you were looking for someone who could manufacture missiles for Titan Ball. I'm not sure how many missiles you need for a good round of Titan Ball, but I could only fit nine in the box without damaging him, so nine it is. The one in the middle is made from a promotional stress ball that could possibly be customized to your logo if you're interested. Oh, good lord, yes! Oh, I, I could, um, I could be sincerely grateful if you would take them to the range and give them a trial run. Any feedback on the design would be greatly appreciated. Since you already have all the stock Titan missiles in all the land, feel free to pass them on to some deserving members of the crew or auxiliary to work on their Titan Ball skills. I'm seriously impressed with the makerspace you've created as well as the vintage Nerf collection. Keep up the good work. I look forward to your videos. Sincerely, Brian. Oh. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, I want to know how he is. Oh, I want, I want your secrets, sir. Those are, those are really lovely. Do you, I, I have so many questions. Like, do you have a jig that you're using to, to do the fins? Um, I've been meaning to try to set up a, a fletching jig so that I could make them accurate. I love the smiley faces. Lovely. Um, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm going to take these to the range and tinker with them. Uh, there are a few things I would do slightly differently, cosmetically, uh, but <laughs> promotional stress point. Yes, I, sir, I, I would, oh lord, would I love Titan Rockets with the X-Strike logo. That would be amazing. Apparently that stuff doesn't stick, stay on well, but... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. Oh, that is neat. He actually had them on posts. They didn't quite stay, but he actually has posts on them to keep them safe. That is, that is a lot of uh, work and forethought. I love the variety in the colors because you could do teams, Titan Ball teams where you're only allowed to use your own color, or the different colors are worth more points, or uh, you're, you're all trying to hit certain targets with certain colored Titan rockets. Uh, it, it, it just, it's more variety allows you to do more stuff with the rules. Those are really well designed, sir. I am looking forward to tinkering with those. It was not the package I was expecting. All right, I'm going to read the off-camera stuff. Right, so, as you can see, he is quite capable of producing them in uh, good quantity. Um, so I will give these a test, and if they work out well, I will definitely be, I'll do a full review video on them and uh, put his information out there because I really want Titan Ball to be the official sport of the auxiliary. The biggest problem was getting the rockets. Titans can be found. They're out there. Titans aren't, you know, they show up at Goodwill here and there. You can get them on eBay. But getting enough rockets to play a game of Titan Ball, because you need at least five rockets, really, um, 
minimum for a good game of Titan Ball. More if you can get your hands on them, but that many uh, makes it active. You could really, you could do it with three if you reset after each point. We play uh, until um, a certain score is reached because we have enough rockets to keep the game going that way. Um, but yeah, this. These are by far the best I've seen, and that includes even the ones that I make. Um, he's definitely, I, I'm gonna have to get the secrets out of him of how he's doing these. Um, I, I can think of a couple of things that he could improve, potentially, but I will definitely see how they fly compared to the ones that I've made. Um, and hopefully this will make, finally make Titan Rockets accessible enough and good enough quality to be able to really get Titan Ball out and going when the plague ends. So that, sir, that is amazing. That is, that is just, oh, I told you, not a lot of packages, but I had really, really good hopes from. All right, we have another ridiculously large package from Daniel Dillman, who seems to have made it his mission in life to spoil me rotten. Dubious, dubious, I do not trust this man anymore. He has hoodwinked me before. So, let's let's get into this thing. He has sent me an air mattress. Just what I always wanted. Just what I, ah, making a mess. Just what I needed. All ready for a good plotzing? Hey, I opened the right end. I got lucky. Hoo ha! Hee hoo ha! Aha! I knew it. Hello, Captain. This box is just a little different. There are things you can use for your makerspace in addition to uh, wait 30 year when it will be vintage happiness. <laughs> mm hmm. Out of curiosity, are you going to make a video? Any video Christmas specials? I know that's kind of vague. I'm not talking about your end of the year build, although I'm ecstatic, ecstatic, waiting for it. I noticed that the chaos is beginning at USPS. I might have to send your boxes earlier. This is, uh, what is your favorite Christmas snack? What are the top three vintage Lego sets you don't have and wish you had? As always, I envy your lustrous beard. Have yourself an awesome day. Uh, hope you enjoy the elvish music. What? Stay safe, train. Dan, native Wisconsinite, Halo fan, Specker River Brinker, Lego Sorter, etc. Behold the arch nemesis of Captain Xavier, by the way. Did you actually like them? I mentioned he hoodwinked me. He had a package that it sounded like happiness, so I opened it up in the Lego room. There was no Lego in it, but it did contain pretzels. They were delicious, by the way. Absolutely delicious. Um, yes, I will probably do some sort of Christmas special. I don't know what yet. Uh, as for Lego sets, um, I'm waiting on a couple of parts to arrive. And then I will be finishing up uh, the l two more sets in my vintage collection, and then I will be doing the tour of the Lego room, because I haven't done that one in forever. Uh, I don't think I had most of it set up the last time I did a tour of it. Um, and there are, there are two sets that I'm looking for um, that I will mention. Uh, as for my Christmas stack, um, my mother makes uh, homemade turtles, chocolate, uh, caramel, and pecan turtles that are uh, they, their happiness in childhood to me, uh, and that's probably my favorite. After that, uh, anything mint. Any mint. Uh, just mint. Mint is, mis mint is Christmas to me, and it is delicious. All right, let's get into this madness. Madness. What? There appears to be a suitcase. He sent me a bomb. I'm sure of it. It has to be. That's all the explanation. What? What? Ugh. Ugh. This... Good lord. Pretzels, you say? Ah, uh, ha! Sure, sure, sure it is. Sir, sir. Pretzels indeed. Pretzels indeed. Oh, sweet. He got me the AT-AT. -AT. I've been wanting, I wanted the, uh, been, been trying to find the original one that was this design. Uh, but this one has the Mandalorian, and Cardoon, and those guys who were going to end up orcs. Just come to grips with that. Uh, yeah! 
really, I, I'm, I want, I really wanted to get one of these just so I could show it next to the original one that they released back in like 99, just to show how utter, utter trash it was. Oh, it was so bad. That is cool. I'm enjoying The Mandalorian. I'm up to date. Um, good stuff. Very, very cool. Thank you. All right. What? 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 Press for recorded Elvish music. Okay, there's some dubiousness. Dubious. What is this? What? Bins! Bins! Look, look at that. Look at that bin goodness. Not sure this is going to end up in the makerspace. This may end up in the Lego room. <laughs> uh, I happen to have some stuff that need to go in some bins. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, look, there's another one. Second verse. Oh. We will see. We, we will see. Oh, hey. <laughs> I think I just ordered this exact same one. Uh, it's a magnet board, like I mentioned. Um, then in some of my rebuild videos that a magnet plate would be very useful and I, I then went and ordered one and I'm reasonably certain I ordered this exact same one. <laughs> Which is cool because if they work out well then I would get one for each one of the, the stations so that would be an excellent start. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. That's it. Oh. Alright. Elvish music. Elvish music. I am dubious. Dubious. Indeed. Let us hear the songs of his people. <coughs> you nasty. It's weird. I'm starting to have my doubts about this map. Right! Well, that's just plain silly, and I love it. Fantastic stuff, as always, Dan. Thank you, thank you, ever, ever so much. This, gonna have fun with that. I know what's going in one of these for sure. I'm not sure about the other one, we will see. But, uh, yeah, they're definitely going in the liquor room. <laughs> I've been sorting up there, and I ran out of bins. And now I have more. All right. Thank you ever so much for watching. Um, as always, uh, if you want to send me stuff, mailing address is down. They put the tag directly in her throat? That is just messed up. Uh, if you want to send me something, mailing address is down in the description. Uh, but don't feel bad if you aren't able to. Just leave me a comment, leave me a like, share the video, tell your friends, whatever. You know how to help support a channel. Um, if you are in a position to send stuff and you want to send stuff because you like watching me plots on camera and because you've sent me something, then by all means feel free. I do very much appreciate it. And train! Here it comes. Thank you for watching.